This is Lover of Ladies, and welcome to Season 7 of my channel. For the next couple of months, instead of seeing me getting frustrated with multiplayer games, you'll be seeing me getting frustrated and terrified playing nothing but scary games. Why am I willing to torture myself, you may ask? Well, because I do it for the girls and the gays, that's it. <laughs> but in all seriousness though, spooky season is practically here. So why not get in on the festive mood? First, let's go over my pros and cons of the games that I finished back in Season 6. After that, I'll show you Season 7's schedule for this channel. Gunfights, cool. Option to have a male or female protagonist to play, cool. Plot that is story driven and immersive, um, where? Story was so dull for me that I just couldn't really care about most of the characters, not even the one that I was playing. Yeah, it had a lot of action, enough to keep me occupied, but even then, that also dragged out as well. Cliché character arcs, predictable pacing, and melodramatic character development makes Black Ops 3 laughable. This game's story plot is so horrible that it makes Black Ops 3 a blockbuster hit. I mean, can you really consider Black Ops 4's campaign mode really a story mode? Not only is it too chopped up with its one to two minute scenes, but the pacing was so rushed. Also, to include character backgrounds as part of the plot is lazy storytelling. Graphics are a little subpar, but this is a 2015 game, so it makes sense. Yeah, it does have its moments where the dialogue is cheesy with the characters' one-liners, but that's MK's gimmick, and damn it, it needs that one moment of goofiness among the bloodbath of its porn gore genre. Good pacing, story was good, and I'm glad I got to play as Melina again. It's official. This is my favorite game to play in 2022. Who knew Misfortune would be so lovable and funny and downright kick-ass? I mean, this game has the right amount of comedy mixed in with thought-provoking lessons of what eternal happiness truly is and how to get it. Also, the plot twist that I thought would be typical to happen still threw me off. This dying game is still fighting for its life. Yes, Overwatch 2 was around the corner, but that doesn't mean you can't take care of its base game. Overwatch has been so dry with its lack of content that not even its recycled ones can pull any new players in to join. Overwatch's future is hanging by its noose like thread that I fear if 2 is disastrous, it's game over for good. The nostalgia trip of Sims 3 has brought me over to the 4, and boy do I regret it. Sure, you can still do plenty of stuff with the base game, but if you truly want an entertaining and immersive experience, the Sims 4 packs are unfortunately needed. With each painful tug of war of $20 off your wallet, it help the game be bearable and less lackluster. Which brings me to this. Tell me you're money hungry without telling me you're money hungry. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your love and support. Now, here's season seven schedule for this channel.